The closest vote on every ballot last night was for issue three. The constitutional change to create the Arkansas Religious Freedom Amendment is failing with 96% of the vote counted. The split shows 49.56% of people were for it, while 50.4% were against it. Neil Zerang tried to figure out what made that vote so close today. Neil, what exactly was it? Laura, people on both sides of this issue can agree on one thing. The way issue three was written was confusing for people, and that's likely what led to it not looking like a lot of other things voted for on the ballot. Down the line of Arkansas's election results, party lines held strong, almost two-thirds Republican and one-third Democrat for statewide offices. It mirrored how Issue 3, the Arkansas Religious Freedom Amendment, was passed in the state legislature with all but one Republican in favor and all but one Democrat opposed. But when the decision was up to the people, what looked like a Republican favorite failed to pass by less than one percentage point. It's almost harder when it's real close than when it's a big difference. State Representative Mary Bentley strongly advocated for the amendment but thinks its wording kept it from passing. On the ballot, Issue 3 read it would quote, provide the government may never burden a person freedom of religion except in the rare circumstance that the government demonstrates that application of the burden to the person is in the furtherance of a compelling government interest. My first reaction was don't we already have this? Andrew Cole, like most Arkansans, voted against the religious freedom amendment, saying it was confusing. What are they trying to pull over on us? According to Bentley, putting the amendment in the Constitution was a safeguard to prevent lawmakers from changing state law later. As for the language, Lawyers in that level had said we needed the exact language that we had there to make sure that things that we were protected, but they saw it as an infringement instead of a protection. Where Bentley hoped it would give religious people and businesses comfort, the threat of government taking freedoms away, however rare, proved too tough to handle. Strong conservatives in the state just mistrusted that language, and um, those are the ones that we counted on to bring it over. Bentley added coronavirus restrictions recently didn't help many people's opinion of government overreach and may have also contributed. She says that she doesn't plan on reintroducing this amendment anytime soon and said focusing on other important issues to her like education and the state's budget. Reporting live at the Capitol, Niels Rang, KRK4 News.